Boys and girls, today you are going to need three pieces of paper, some markers or crayons, some scotch tape. Please go get those items now. Please go get those items now. Three pieces of paper, markers or crayons, and scotch tape. Masking tape will work too. You just need some kind of tape. Duct tape, probably too heavy. Okay, boys and girls, now that you have your three, three pieces of paper, markers and scotch tape or any kind of tape, now we are going to make a flying disc or a flying ring. So what I need you to do is take your first piece of paper and you are going to fold over a little bit. It, this is about the length of my tip of my finger. And then you're gonna continue to fold that all the way until your piece of paper has or is complete. Keep going all the way to the end. Try to make sure it's staying as straight as possible. Mine's a little crooked, that will work. But if it becomes really crooked, it's gonna be very difficult. So one of your pieces of paper is done. Set it aside and complete that two more times. So finish your other two pieces of paper. When you're folding it, you want it about the same width as the first one you made. We will be taping these together. I finished my second, now I'm moving on to my third. Once you have all three of them done, you are going to give them a little color. So I know they keep unfolding, but once we tape them together, they'll be good to go. So I'm just gonna color mine red because I am a little John fan. Throw a little color on your three pieces. Actually, I might do mine red, blue, and white. Change my mind. Perfect. Now that they're colored, you're going to be taping the ends of them together. So I have my blue one and I have my red one. I'm going to overlap them by a little bit and then I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to tape them together. So just around. Might have to double it up. Now that I have two taped together, I might need to bend it a little bit. There we go. And then now I'm going to take my red end and my white one. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to tape these two together also. As I said, masking tape will probably work, painter's tape will probably work, duct tape might just be too heavy. Then I have to make it into a circle and tape my last two ends together.
And now we have our flying disc. If you need to add a little bit more tape to the seams, go ahead and do that now.